So I chose electrical engineering over computer science. And in my opinion, that's the best decision I could have ever made. And the reason for that is very simple. It's fundamental. I'm not even going to talk about jobs available. I'm not even going to talk about like what's in demand and what's hot and what how much does each one make. I don't care about any of that. I'm going to tackle it from a much more fundamental perspective. So real quick, let's define the two. So what is electrical engineering and what is computer science? So electrical engineering is pretty simple. The branch of engineering that deals with electromagnetic physics. So anything relating to charges or fields or waves, electromagnetic waves, uh, electrical engineers take those physical phenomena in nature and be able to manipulate them to achieve some type of application. Computer science, on the other hand, is simply the study and use of computers. So being able to get computers to do what you want, assuming that someone else, i.e. the electrical engineer or the computer engineer, has built a good enough computer for you. Now, what most people don't understand is that computer science is a branch of electrical engineering. Computer science sits on top of computer engineering, which sits on top of electrical engineering. So if you're an electrical engineer and you have a very good understanding of electrical engineering, one, you have a good understanding of electromagnetic physics and how that physics inter behaves and interacts with things in the real world. Two, you have a good understanding of circuits and devices and, and some of these devices include computers. And then on top of that, you also understand how the software and the commands that can be written on a user interface. You can basically write sets of instructions that basically compile and then go tell the hardware what to do. And as an electrical engineer, you understand all that. You see the whole big picture. So you have like such a strong foundation because with that foundation you can go in any direction you want you could stick to the theoretical physics and try to improve things on the device side you could try to make transistors smaller you could try to make antennas more efficient and min miniature or if you really like computers you can work directly uh, as a computer engineer you can get really deep in designing computer architectures make better processors because again you have a good understanding of the fundamentals and likewise you can be a really good programmer you can be a really good computer scientist and this can help you make a lot of system level decisions for example because you understand the concept of compiling and you understand how that the, the, the software you write and the commands that you write into the computer, how that actually gets broken down into instructions that get fed into a circuit. So you can actually make really good managerial decisions in terms of, for example, what programming language to use, how to make the best use out of your hardware. And again, you're just like a full stack person. You, you, you know everything. Now, obviously, because you chose to have this more generalized broad view, during a bachelor's degree, you're not going to be as good of a programmer as a computer science graduate, unless you like really do that as a hobby and do it a lot on the side. But the idea is the bachelor, the bachelor degree is only four years and you're usually pretty young when you get it. And for me personally, I wanted to do a bachelor's degree in something a bit more fundamental and broad such that I keep my options open in case I get more interested in software, I could go pursue software. Or if I really like hardware, I could pursue hardware. Or if I really like antennas or physics, I could go into that direction because I prime myself because I, I basically equip myself with a skill set to have an understanding of how, the, how these things fall on a high level, and then I can go pursue them on a deeper level if I want. So I'd say only really do computer science if you really enjoy programming or if you really enjoy the logical or a creative process of being able to build things digitally. But don't go into it just because it's like what's hot and like, oh my God, there's like jobs. Like in a knowledge-based economy, if you're really good at what you do, there will always be a job for you. So might as well pick something that you like. And in order to increase the likelihood of picking something that you like, pick something that's a little broader such that you can find an angle within it that you can really, really like and be really good at. In case you haven't guessed, this channel is very pro electrical engineering. I love electrical engineering. In fact, I love it so much. I think there are 17 reasons why you should study electrical engineering if you aren't already doing so. And I have a video about that. So you can check it out over here.